Hi, I'm Mrs. Chilton, and in this lesson, I am going to teach you about classifying triangles. Let's get started. Triangles can be classified into three categories. This can be done by looking at the measure of their angles. You can have a right triangle, an acute triangle, or an obtuse triangle. On the right of the screen, you can see that I have placed a tool that, will be, that we will be using to help us classify the triangles. If you don't have an index card, you can use the corner of a sheet of paper. Let's look at the first type of triangles. Here, you will see a right triangle. A right triangle must have one angle that is exactly 90 degrees. I am going to use the index card to help me identify an angle that is 90 degrees. I can do this by placing the index card in each of the three angles in the triangle. If one corner of the index card fits perfectly in one of the angles, then you have a right triangle. Now watch as I move the index card. Well, I've already done that. Now I am going to remove the card, but leave the shape of the index card so you can see how the corner of the index card fits perfectly in that angle. Another clue is the tiny box you see on the triangle. That little box indicates that the angle measures exactly 90 degrees. So again, this triangle is a right triangle. Now let's look at a different type of triangle. This yellow triangle is classified as an acute triangle. It is an acute triangle because all of its angles are less than 90 degrees. Remember that when you use the corner of an index card and it fits perfectly in that corner, that corner is 90 degrees. If you put the index card on an angle and the index card is bigger than the angle, that means that the angle is less than 90 degrees. Now, I've already placed the index card on the first angle, and I'm going to do that with some others. I also removed the index card, but left the outline so you can see how the index card is actually bigger than the angles. Every time we place the index card on the angle, the index card is again bigger than each angle. When all the angles measure less than 90 degrees, you have an acute triangle. Now let's look at the final type of triangle. This green triangle is classified as an obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle must have one angle that is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. When we place the index card over the angle with the arrow, you will see that the index card is smaller than the angle. Since the corner of the index card is smaller, that means the angle is greater than 90 degrees. And since the angle is greater than 90 degrees, and you only need one angle that is greater than 90 degrees, that makes this an obtuse triangle. Now let's look at some practice problems. If you have a problem to solve with no drawing, that's okay. In this case, you can draw your own triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it has three sides. You can label your angles, and your drawing will not be accurate, but that's okay. Your drawing is just to help you see the angles and their measurements. Once you have labeled your triangle, you can decide what type of triangle it is. Since this triangle has one large angle that measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees, this triangle is classified as an obtuse triangle. Let's look at another problem. You will not need to use your index card since this triangle has the measurements labeled for each angle. Notice that all angles are less than 90 degrees. Can you identify what type of triangle this is? If you said acute, you are correct.
Let's look at one more problem. This problem shows a triangle with no measurements. You will need to use the index card to help you classify this triangle. Notice how one of the corners of the index card, card fits perfectly in the angle of one of the triangles, of the triangle. Since we have one angle that measures 90 degrees, this is classified as a right triangle. Now it's your turn. See if you can classify these triangles as right, obtuse, or acute triangles. You will need to copy these on a sheet of paper. This is not an assignment for you to do and turn in. This is just extra practice for you to have. I hope you enjoyed the lesson.